It's the first hike for us in this year. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Ladybug Paper Company. In today's video, we are hiking Hemlock Ravine Park in Nova Scotia, Canada. The trail is four kilometers or 2.5 miles long. It's a loop and has an elevation gain of 93 meters or 300 feet. At a mere 15 minute drive from Nova Scotia's capital city of Halifax, it's a great option for almost anyone in the city. The road to the park is easily identifiable as it is located across the street from the rotunda on Kent Avenue on the Bedford Highway. There are several trails within the park, allowing you to hike for a shorter or longer distance based on your abilities and preferences. At the beginning of the hike is a heart-shaped pond that you'll see later in the video as well. Hemlock Ravine was our first hike for the 2019 season. I've been around the park once before, but I've never found the ravine section of the loop. There is a decent amount of on-site parking for those hiking in the area. I was determined this time to find and hike this section of the park. Although you can't see it from the trail, the hike is along the beautiful Bedford Basin, also called the holding tank of the spectacular Halifax Harbor. Looks like you are going to serious hiking. <laughs> yeah, I feel it's like I'm going back. serious. Big backpack. I guess that's the problem with having all the extra gear in. Oh yeah! Hey, <laughs> That's awesome. They're like this. Whoosh. Yeah. What do I got in my head? No, what did I run into? It's like running up. I can't push away. Uh, if you hold it, I can probably see in the camera. It's so dark. Did I get it all? No. Well, something. I got blood on my finger. Yeah. <laughs> chicks? Chicks. No, not chicks. Uh, Close. Thick. Thick. <laughs> Starts with a T. <laughs> yeah. Chick. <laughs> Close. Uh, there are wood ticks out here. Um, I guess it's that time of year, although it doesn't really look like spring yet. It is springtime. Uh, Did he bite you? I, I don't know what it was. I got just grabbed it out and threw it on the ground. So, not Ew. quite sure. Yeah. How how come like like now why only you? <laughs> don't ask me why this happens. Oh my God, it's the third time. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I don't know, man. <laughs> so we're here at the junction of Rockingham Loop and Governor's Loop. Governor's Loop. So we went blue, now we're going to go red, and then we're going to go orange. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. If that was the um, actual ravine trail, we'll have to go back and uh, no! go on it. You go back. I will have to go back. That's the whole point is to go to the ravine, which I don't think I've ever done. I've been here a oh, couple of times. <laughs> Careful. Good balance. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That Lyme disease must be affecting you too. <laughs> <'Cause I laughs> just you just in the proximity. <laughs> yeah, the challenge is to make sure that both me and you <clears throat> are here. This is just the one that makes Ben do a move like that. Yeah? Uh -huh. Just really squat the whole time? Yeah. Lunges, deep lunges. Oh, yeah, good. Great exercise. Yeah. The extra back weight in the backpack it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just like being at the gym mm -hmm. only worse because i don't do squats at the gym <laughs> <laughs> see how you're already tired yeah yeah i'm right a little now? surprised that we're into almost the middle of may now and although the leaves are starting to come out and the buds are starting to change around where we live here in the woods maybe it's just that 
it's not getting quite as much light and they're a little slower because it's really not popping the way that I was kind of hoping it would. Yeah, so I, I cannot tell this is spring. Yeah. It's May, middle of May. Yeah. I do feel as though, oh, just as I say that, I was going to say I do feel as though that was the uh, turn. Oh, there's a hawk. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know where it is now. Two, oh, it's back up. It feels so good to get out. Like it's, I'm one of those people admittedly who doesn't get out much in the winter. So I pretty much hibernate or I go somewhere warm. And ever since I injured my arm, um, you are? I've been pretty much a, a slug for the last little bit. And it's only been in the last month where I started going back to the gym after I finished my physio and my rehab uh, to really kind of get the strength back in my, not only my arm, but just my legs and my cardio for being just sedentary all winter long. So it's so nice being out the spring already. Um, it's just one of those things where if you want to live a healthy lifestyle, you have to find ways in order to get out. And it sometimes it's a challenge when you live up north and the weather's not always as nice as, you know, some of the southern parts of wherever you're from. And I'm sure that's the case with, with everybody that's watching here. You're going to have times where the weather's just not cooperative. And for me, I personally find it a little bit of a challenge in order to find something to do. So when spring hits and we get nice days like this where we're having no rain, we've got to hit the trails. Sounds so nice because birds speak, wings and leaves. I feel like really spring. So, I mean, we are pretty much at the getting to, if not at the bottom of the ravine, which is the whole point of this hike is to hike down into the ravine. Um, but once you get to the bottom here, there's a junction where you can make either a left or right turn, and we're still not quite sure um, if there's a way that's better. So we're going to make our right after coming down the ravine, so we'll see if that's right. Okay, boss. Okay. I just love how green, once the moss takes over the hill, I just love how green everything is. Just really, I don't know, right here, you, like it just encompasses you. Like you just feel so small right here. Ashra, you are so small right now. Joshua the tree. Yeah. The trail is a good, a good trail when you come to a, a find like this. For at least here on the east coast, you're not going to find too many trees that are, that are big. We don't have any of the super old growth forests like they do other places. Um, but this guy, this guy is doing pretty well for himself. So it's nice to see. Now I get the impression that this trail, the ravine trail, only really took you down to that bottom section based on the map. Walking alongside the stream I think is just an added bonus for us. I don't know if this is actually part of the trail. Um, if it is, I would say this is probably a little bit more than a four kilometer trail, just based on what I've seen from the map and what it feels like compared to the rest of the loop that we've done so far. I felt as though what we've completed on the loop so far felt very short, and this is quite uh, an ad in addition to that. <laughs> so as you can see, we are at the top little blue dot there. Uh, we've ventured off a little farther from the trail than we had anticipated, like I thought. So we're just gonna turn around and head back. Yeah, so that being said, one of the favorite parts so far of this hike has been down here by the river. So getting a little lost, getting to the bottom of the ravine, and then taking these little side trails is actually more than worth hiking down to the bottom of the ravine because this is so far the prettiest part. And I believe that's because... Ah, there he is. This is a small dude. I mean, he's bigger than a lot of the snakes 
in the area because we don't have a lot of snakes. Why don't you share with the group your opinion of snakes? Ew. <laughs> I hate snake and wasps. Yeah. <laughs> this heart-shaped pond is called Julie's Pond. It dates back to 1794 when it was built by Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, shortly after he arrived in Halifax. His grandson, Prince Arthur, made it heart-shaped 75 years later to commemorate the time his grandfather spent there with his mistress, Julie St. Laurent. So hiking here at Hemlock Ravine is absolutely wonderful. It can, like I said, it can be as easy or as difficult as you want. Getting down into the ravine isn't terribly hard. However, you have to be willing to climb back up afterward. Uh, we're going to have a ton of different videos coming out this spring and this summer before we head to Newfoundland on our big trip. So I encourage you, if you're not already, to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to check you out in all the future videos. Mm -hmm.